have. You know something? You always been the worst trouble one out of all my kids. I know you burned down this house, boy. I didn't do it. Who did it? I, I know you burned down this house, boy. I didn't do it. I'm here to get you. In this story, I will take you on a journey into the darkest, most dangerous, secret parts of the world of pimps, hoes, drug dealers, and killers. Killers, killers. Ron Luke, alias Prince Diamond, a key ingredient in the prostitution equation. Ron claims that he too was a victim of the streets, that he was just looking for a way out. I come from the ghetto, from the raw streets of the ghetto. They call it Baghdad by the Bay, the city by the Bay. I was born by the city by the Bay. On June 20th, 1949, a pimp was born. I was born Ronnie L. Newt to John Willie Newt and Nettery Love, two people who didn't know the meaning of love, who sex for lust and not for trust. That's a cold thing to say, but mother made it that way. When she told me that she never loved my father, that the only man she ever loved was my stepfather, Clifton Bowman, a sick man. A man I should have killed a long time ago. At the age of seven, he was whipping me like a runaway slave. You know something? I came all the way from work and found out that my house is half burnt up. Out of all the eight kids that I have, you know something? You've always been the worst troublous one out of all my kids. I know you burned down this house. I didn't do it. Who did it? I, I know you burned down this house, boy. I'm here to get you now. I'm here to get you. I know you burned down this house. Who did it? I, I know you burned down this house. Come on. Hey, I want every step. Come on, yeah, when I ran away from home, I'm burning down this house. I'm going to beat Said I'm beyond parents' control. This is the first place I ever was locked up in my whole life, right here at Patrillo Station. This is Patrillo Hill. This is where I first caught my first gun beat bad at. I burglarized the house, found the gun in the lady's bedroom in the drawer, came up here and got to the shootout with a guy about a girl named Angie that went to Long Cabin Ranch in 1965. From dark and bullets, from, you know, I mean, I come from a child, a, a abused family. I mean, I was looking for a way out to get out of the house. books in the office and we passed on many of them for one reason or another but boy this one struck our attention the other day this book is called bigger than big and it's about a man who is a pimp pimp, pimp. yeah yeah for sure yeah 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 It's a nightly ritual. They lock women off on the streets to sell sex. Well, I respect a bitch that took it down and put it on the concrete on the pavement and put it ten toes down and put it down for real. But this pimp know how to hold and a motherfucking chill and make a deal with a motherfucking trick. Get all in his pockets with everything that we got. Ron Newt, alias Prince Diamond, says he used to have as many as 17 women working for him. Because my girls never told me. I've been hearing these myths about pimps beat up uh, prostitutes and all that. They would go straight to jail. And why would you beat your woman up to send her to the streets to the public? You have to see a pretty woman to the streets to get money. When the bitch comes to me, I spit the bitch every day. Bitch, I'm going to fuck about your motherfucking past. I don't care about you. It's your future. Now listen to what I got to say. She got to like what you see. You got to have that play. Yeah, but you were making a million dollars a year as a pimp. That was my livelihood at one time, and that was my job. How does one, be, how do you get into that? You know, people watch movies and they look at, at depictions of prostitutes or, or, or hookers and, and they're beholden to this pimp and I, and I think most people think, well what's so special about this guy? What kind of hold does a pimp have on a hooker? 
I was the realest motherfucker ever did this. 17 deep and no motherfucking sleep. Stella Della motherfucker. I was telling us in them hoes. I did this for real. I did it for real out here. This is where it started at. Right here on the host store. Right here. These are the corners that we laid these hoes on. They lean up to get our money, man. Petty Street, right here. See, one thing you gotta get first. You gotta get the hoes mine first, and then you get the pussy. You understand? I always look for a big, good looking bitch with a good pussy. Look like old two get ready to scream. Cause it's celebrate. And the army drive flavor. I got to have that bitch like that. Bitch be cut like an hourglass. Some bitches body be, sometimes a bitch have a body cut like an hourglass, trapped in a body, and I gotta bring it out to bed. I get them right, bright, and almost white. Young tenor ready to survive. That's how I get out of bitch. You know what I'm saying? When a bitch get old, I send a bitch out to the pastor to eat brown grass. She can't eat green grass no more. That's for my thoroughbred. Like them horses in the Kentucky Derby. You know what I'm saying? Trying to win the Kentucky Derby race. I don't need a hole to break a shoe on me. I need a hole to keep a real shoe on and run that track. Real good for me. You know what I'm saying? We're here to bring it to you from the start to the finish. I knew that the tip game had a lot of luxury to it. Flash and cash. You know what I'm saying? Cadillacs. I mean, just it was just a lavish. It looked like a lavish business to be you know what I mean? Lights, camera, action. What's up, Miss Jackson? You know, like the Michael Jackson shit, making a hit record. When well, a pimp comes with a hit record, but it's, when you got the game going down like it go, if you're a real pimp, then you was like on the top ten, like the Magnificent Seven, Frank Ward, Tim Ward, Willie, Fiamo, Slim, Kenny, Red, Gates, Brown, Don Matthew Wood, Good Day, Juju, all the charm, all the motherfuckers, man, all the niggas are stars in the game. Oh, well, it's like a bitch need a pillar with that for that. Now you might want to turn your screen off because this shit sound a little bit cold when I'm finna check you. Where was you at? You was a sideline, motherfucker. Don't get mad because everybody play a part. You gotta have fans unless the pimping wouldn't be right. This is like football. You ain't got a motherfucker when they catch the pass, though. You ain't gonna make the pimp feel good. So don't feel bad for Kenny Red tell you to fuck yourself, fuck yourself, because he only trying to express himself that he's a real ass. He say a hundred percent pimp. They ain't talking about you got a mechanic shot down the street, you spray green pimp cars and shit. That ain't, I don't do that. We ain't the bad old pimp. We don't do no shit like that. All we do is seeing bitches. You see that? Couple of them up there, one of them right there. Be real P.I.M.P. Hey, man, if you come from California or somewhere, be like your, be like your mentors are, man. Be like the people that you're derivative of. Try it, man. This is cold, Jeff. Hey, man, you go from gators to ostrich skin, man. You go from hill skin to more race skin. Some, I know you, some you might not know nothing about, but step up your game and you can have that shit. Quit fucking on them girls, man. Let them girls go out there to stand and get on her back and get you a fat stack. Hey, Jack, you don't need no cat lap. They have a pimp attack. All you got to do is wake yourself up and be a body body. Don't just spit in the damn wall. Quit it, man. Get with it, Jack. Be real about it. It's going down loud, man. We had the whole sales. Big the Snoop Dogg, the five dog, father of all father was here. Why ain't new? Gangsta Brown, uh, Archbishop Magic Don Juan, none other than the great Kenny Red, man. Hey, it was going down. Dope Red was here. Jimmy Flint, Jimmy, Jimmy Green was here. I mean, it was the who's who. Where was you at? <laughs> that was my question. All this old jibber jabber, where you was at, man? We do it from the gators to the boot, and we do it like Gangsta Brown and Ronnie knew. We wear the suits, Jack, and we keep it live, and we don't take no job, and we take big steps out that base. Like I tell you, from the Golden State, Keep them turning the big days and have them checking money's from the mail. We call them tricks and we don't have to beat them with a stick. Understand me, long as that bitch continue to lick. Church, you out there to step up your game. Understand me, don't flip the script because you gotta come back home. The Rodney Hood says the gangster Browns, yeah, they gonna be there. You got to be true step to yourself up. before you can be a pimp. To yourself, man. You know, you know to yourself if you could like me, I bite my nails. I tell a bitch in a minute, I got a financial nervous condition. The only way you're gonna stop me from doing this is if you give me all this. Because I didn't have one or two or three. I need to cut more, a little more. Maybe I can stop this hat. So if any hoes out here that sympathize for a pimp fighting on this nail, can you raise my super hands for me? See, this is what I'm trying to get my shit to look like that. If you can sympathize for this, 
Come on and give me the five million. Now they need to be dead right now, but they still cool, though. <laughs> Watch that. Do you know Pimp laughing yeah. at the fun? Yeah, they need to be dead right now, but they still cool, though, because I get my nails and feet dead and hand dead just like a bitch. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't no bitch, but I'm just taking care of myself. In America 50, you said take you how long to get dressed? Three hours. It takes longer now because I got to go get my hair braided because I'm letting it grow back. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah so I'm just letting it grow back, you know? My nigga, get it real. You know, and you know, we kind of physical fitness. We go to the gym, you know, do a little cardio, lift a little weight yeah, and all that kind of shit. You know? Just a little bit, you know? Arms, you got there, I ain't, I ain't, that ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing. I got to say, you know, yeah, uh, you know, something strong. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A bitch wants something uh, strong that's going to last long. You know uh. what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? When a bitch comes to the door and gives it to me, you know, a whole might want a marathon fucking from a veteran. Mm -hmm. A bunch of man, please. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey motherfuckers can say what the fuck they want to say, but if all you busters that don't like me, yeah, fuck you, suck my dick, you punk ass <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Just come, just come around the road with Bishop Don Wong. Reverend C. Moe, Big Daddy Kane, down has just come out of Carolina, in Atlanta. You know, every time they give out a party or something, they call me and fly me in. I pass out the truth and bless them, because I'm the Godfather. They're most living. Right, right, right. We get freaky and stuff. Right, right, right. right. That's why the bitch stays. Run, new. I raise. The new drum, daddy. I raised Ronnie Newton. Ronnie Newton. I said that good guy. Ronnie Newton. Why y'all gonna keep saying the Newton daddy? I tipped like a motherfucker. I tipped like a motherfucker. Hold on, hold on. There you go. 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 There you Michael Jackson, daddy. And Newton, daddy. But let me, let me tell you about Ronald Newton. 16 years old. San Francisco. Young Ron Newton. 16 years old. A whole brother full of holes. First young man in California that I know of to have a Rolls Royce at 16 years old. Give him a big round of applause. I said, Rolls Royce. I want to. Have everybody give a moment of silence for 10 seconds, whatever. Well, look at that shit. Go ahead home with this sauce. Yeah, pimping, man. Straight pimping. I appreciate it. By the way, just in kitchen, I'm rapping for a team on the We have another war. Something's popping off of the left. I popped a dog. One of the longevity. Leave the gap in the house. Bring some dog bones. Kick off your shoes. Relax. Shoot your back in the house. Shoot your back in the house. Shoot your back in the house. Get these things on the set. You can learn a whole lot from the place. A lot of these plays make a damn good point. We all love it. Ronnie Newton. Ronnie Newton, y'all. Let's hear it for Ronnie Newton. Hey, hey, hey. Hit the game. 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 This next award is going out to a true player, a friend of mine, a personal friend of mine. I've only known for 55 years. But it's a great year. Check this out. Check this out. The baddest drummer in the world. Jay Brown tried to take him out of here. Bad motherfucker. Gangsta Brown. Y'all didn't know he was a musician, did you? I ain't never played Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
of the motherfucking field mode. I watch you turn in like a lot of motherfuckers Come turned out. Right and right the now. pimping is never stop with you. I love Come you. Right I God bless your book, your video, and the whole motherfucking thing. But what part do I play? Because I've never been a kiss ass or a fuck. Well, you know, it's a competition thing. It's kind of hard when my bitch make a thousand more better. You dig? And they bitches make three, four hundred. They can't compete. So they get an attitude. They talk about me behind my back. But I ain't mad at them, though, because I know the best bitch gonna win. Because I got the best pimping for the bitch. So I can't help but go to the top. I'm the best at ever did this shit, man. Talk about the best, man. You know what I'm talking about? So I ain't mad at nobody, man. They tell them niggas, keep up, catch up, and stay alive. And keep trying to do the best you can. Program the bitch the right way how to get your money. Let me tell you young motherfuckers one motherfucking thing about this motherfucking payment. I'm the best that ever did it, never did it, never did it. And this young bitch here, I made this motherfucking hoe. But she just don't motherfucking listen. I'm gonna kick off her ass so goddamn far. So motherfucking bitch, she gonna thought she shit it on herself. Put your hands on me, you know where you're going. Come on, man. Would you threaten me, bitch? You threaten me? I'm gonna knock your goddamn lips off, bitch. I know you fuck you, gay. But you can suck this dick. That's right. Suck the real swell. Hey, it's, it's a young thing now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We realize that the older, the older Max, you know what I'm saying, they set the foundation, but us new players, you know what I'm saying, we just flipping it now, the game in our own words, you know what I'm saying? The game ain't changed. I just fucked the whole game up when I told them niggas gave the game to them back. That's why they fucked up. I did that. We out here doing it, making our paper, you know what I'm saying? The old motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? It's time to move on over, you know what I'm saying? It's time to move the new niggas come on in, you know what I'm saying? The young niggas, such as myself, you know what I'm saying? 18 on up, you know what I'm saying? Young niggas pimping, you know what I'm saying? The money show, they can't afford a Cadillac, but it's 4 to 5 going up in the Mustang and I rock. It's cheap, that's 10,000. Cadillac is 40 and up. The bitches ain't giving it to like they supposed to. They ain't asking for it all. That's why. I got bitches in the Bronx, bitches in the mobile home, and bitches in the limousine. And two bitches over there. These my two right hand bitches, they go everywhere I go. They love daddy. Speak, bitch, can I hear you? Yell out love daddy! <laughs> See what I'm saying, right? Uh, you brought the loop? Ready to do it. Ready to Alright, I'm gonna I think it said what? What did it say? I said pimp you! Pimp what? That said pimp you! Pimp what? That said pimp you! Pimp what? Pimp you for what? I mean, you know, but check this out. My shit is bigger than just one motherfucking segment. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all need two, three. I got the pat down for the camera and make sure it's right and tight. You understand me? Mine ain't rehearsed or coerced, right? So, yeah, you see me like this now. The next time y'all see me, I'm going to be 52 inches right in the ground with my foot in the bitch motherfucking ass. Believe what I tell you. You won't see no nigga putting no cigar oil in my motherfucking face Ooh. and giving me a motherfucking trophy. You understand me? Niggas around here getting trophies can't send a motherfucking cat to a litter box, you dig? And I'm serious about it. You understand me? Motherfuckers just have to check in with me when they come to that San Francisco motherfucking bag eating set a bitch down. Believe that. Uh, I mean, so niggas been in trouble. Yeah, they tried to hide me from the camera and from the film. You yeah. understand me? Because my shit is revolutionary. It ain't even supposed to be televised. Yeah. This shit is sick. <laughs> 
with me. You understand me? These niggas' stomachs ain't even blind to do the shit that I do with a bitch. Put a little ball in your belly, nigga. You understand me? Say that bitch. You niggas run around here. Talk about y'all got clean cones, bitch. Don't do marathon fucking. Yeah, why I'm just fat with my cop. You understand me? I ain't no porno star around this motherfucker. You understand me? I'm gonna stomp down on the bitch. Yeah, I don't have a bitch. Well, you don't see me with a bitch three, four, five years, cause I'm stomped down. I'm demanding mine. I don't go with bitch. I don't buy bitch. I ain't never had a motherfucking job. What for? With a skull spoon in my mouth. Anything I got to do, bitch, gave it to me. I didn't ask you. I took it from a bitch. Believe that. Y'all got shit fucked up, Mr. Screw, and twisted around here. You understand me? My mama chopped me. I do this shit. I own this shit. I stand on this shit. This is my shit. I can do that. I can stop it, put a hole in it, because I can pay for it. Pimpin' is real. It ain't no faking in this shit. This shit is real. Niggas died in the game for this shit. These are the these niggas out there playing on bullshit about their pimps. Niggas ain't no motherfucking pimps nowadays. I had 17 on the one time. At one time. Ain't never been, nah. I ain't never had a job in my motherfucking life. And I count, get a hold of say they chose on me. Get a nigga a crown. You know what I mean? I did this pimpin', man. I slammed around the door to pimp hoes to the break of dawn. On the back streets of Belmo, me and my partner, Lil Butch, we did that shit at Honey Bear from the big window overlooking the view at the city of San Francisco Bay at the host. Now, this is the young man. When I first come to film, I had a bunch of boosting hoes, right? <laughs> and and stick-up bitches. Them hoes wasn't no hoes yet. And Butch told me, say, man, this is a new twist over here for a hoe, man. A hoe sell pussy over here, man. You in the wrong territory, partner. I ain't seen you since the boxing day, nigga. You got to get them hoes up out of here, man. That's the hell, some pussy. But by me and him be a good friend, by me and him be a good friend, he, uh, 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 went, rode back with me 100 points, but you just tell him what we did, man. Shit. Lay the pippin' down. But you kill the hoes, bro. Hey, I get in the car and run. He got a car full of bitches. I tell him, I say, man, we ride for a while. And then I tell him, I say, well, holy run. These hoes been riding all day and thing. You got a brand new Cadillac. Uh, what they gonna do? Man, you know, drop these hoes to the whole stroll or uh, kick them out of here or something. He say, uh, it's up to you, man. Do what you want to do. I say, bitch, you and you and you ain't gonna be with my partner. Get up out of here. This ain't your car. It's just like it's mine. You hoes ain't going to work. Y'all got to get up out of here. And, man, and it, the rest is history. That's right. Yeah, man. Well, That's real. See, me and Butch was the master manipulator. We used to knock. We had a plan. Our plan was to knock all big niggas. We knocked Honey Bear, yeah. Ice Jr., uh, uh, I don't know. Eddie Graham. Eddie Graham. Uh, Gene Sinner, all of them. Uh, Supposed to have been Bippin'. Yeah, all them niggas in there. I mean, we were we were young pimps too, man. I mean, I'm not gonna be up for a whole crew. He wanted to kill Bush. <laughs> he was my father. Because Bush was part of it. I mean, I grew up with Bush. Me and Bush grew up yeah. like adolescents. Pimpin' is smooth. Swift. To the point. Hold get my money. Put them ten toes down.
Okay, the gold right. Hey, I'm from a billion dollar from Mars. You got the whole phone, you got the black and white phone, you know. So now you got the pimp phone in San Francisco. But you know, listen, you know, you know, a lot of people are raised him, y'all. They said Gangsta Brown had the over million dollar home, but I want you to know that if you were right, all the homes are going to be a million dollars. Yeah, man, this is Big Snoop Dogg in the place to pee, you dig? Talking up some real shit right now about these hoes, man. These hoes got to pay what they weigh, you dig? It's all around the world, that's what it is. Famous players, we unite, it's a treat when famous players meet. We doing this thing in a real big is fashion, you know what I'm talking about? We got mink coats, we got long, long, long cars, we got gators on our feet, we got perms in our hair, we got a whole lot of money in our pockets, and we got bitches to stand up and do this thing and keep their head down until we say lift their heads up, lift every voice and sing, cause Pippin is back. Welcome. Lifestyles of the Black and Famous. I'm Lil Fly, your host. Y'all still with me? I know we've been doing this all day, right? Okay. I'm gonna take y'all back to the round table and holler at a player. You know what I'm saying? Your own 1-800 number. And then I want them. We're gonna tell them that. Five, 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 five. <laughs> that's not, that's not haters, get, get, haters get detected at the door. Yeah. It's in that now, bloodline. It's in that bloodline. It's how you carry yourself. Some got nine to five. Some do their own thing. You know, but it's just how you do your thing is what makes you bona fide. That's how we do our thing. And we love ourselves. We are loved by some, hated by others, but respected by all. You know what I'm saying? Bear with us. Uh, break yourself. Bear with us. Break we, yourself. We just ain't, Bear with us. We just ain't gonna tell you. Just bear with us. 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 Hold on, and I got one thing to say here. And this is everybody. Check this out. Check this out. We got this going down like this here, and I want to let you know where we from. I got something for you. I'm not gonna say nothing. This is when I'm not gonna say nothing. Yeah, we from the West. Hey, put the camera on top. Right there. Where did you get them spurs from? Where did you get them spurs from? Oh, I really got them up from, from Pimpin' Man, up out of Hoes Cop. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> This is family shit. One, two, three. Ain't no player like a bona fide player because a bona fide player can't set a player hater. Out. Yeah. Out. And we ain't no hater. Out. Bona fide. Bona fide. Shit. And I heard this big commotion. She said, baby, it's done running out. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I had never seen nothing like it. And I'm not gay at all. This is a bad brother. He influenced me a minute gay. You understand me? Well, he's he's saying, this is the first Break my news, man. Ain't hey, never count the words. About 13. Come on, look closer. I don't want you around about 13. Look at him now. This is a bad fat thing. Rich is green. You know what I mean? Her whole dream. Yeah. Look at you, man. Boy, you look good. Thank you, man. Peace to the pimpin', man. Peace to the rope,
a loitering law to arrest the hookers and the Johns. Now, they hope an amendment to that law will give them the power to put the pimps behind bars, too. Vice cops keep extensive files on hookers and their customers. Now, they want the same power to profile the pimps. You're riding along with the Hollywood Run. Vice Squad. The same Vice Squad that made Joey Buttafuoco a celebrity. Now they're focusing their spotlight on the force behind the world's oldest profession. Based on that law, intelligence files on our pimps, but we don't have a tracking system, and we certainly don't have a where we can say, we believe you're working as a pimp, and here is why and sign here, you know, if we see this again, you're going to get arrested because that's the law. Because the person that has to put the pimp in jail is the victim, the prostitute, the child. Mm, from 750 to $500 to $1,200 a night. Here at Children of the Night, a shelter for sexually abused children, Alice burns what she calls a client list her pimp made her keep, the last reminder of her life of emotional slavery. Many prostitutes complain police are powerless. You know, 
scared for my life, of course. A lot of prostitutes end up, you know, coming from abusive families or getting lost as a child and your parents telling you you're not worth anything. I took care of all the livelihoods. I took care of all they, all they need. Did you take care of their drugs? Drugs. There was no need. I, that was not allowed in my state. Why? Because you can't work loaded. The FBI, the DEA. This is for sport. Look at it. Who would have this out the range? Practice and shoot nipples or targets. The saw off is for concealability. There's 40 rounds in here. You can get them off easily in 20 seconds. Easily. What changed you around? I mean, was it a religious thing? No, what changed me around, I started having kids by my wife, Lynn. I fell in love with my wife, and I wanted to do the right thing. I, I wanted to uh, become a, get into the entertainment field, and I started training my kids like the Jackson 5. And, um, yeah, but you were making a million dollars a year as a pimp. Right, and I, and I took that money and put it toward my children. I got into pimping because I felt like I was having children, that I wanted to be something, and I don't want them involved in what I was doing.
Y'all want to see some body movements? Uh, let me hear you. They ain't going to dance until you hear you. Are y'all ready? It's showtime. Let's get busy then. <laughs> 45, a little faster. Said Jackie Jackson, the Neutrons have all the qualities to be the next Jacksons. Thanks a lot, bro. Come on over here. Your uncle got to get hey, in here. Hollywood. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Hollywood. Y'all don't forget about me. Grab your girlfriend, Bob. Don't forget about me when y'all get there. Bob, get your girlfriend. Grab your yeah. girlfriend, everybody. Grab him with me. Show me. Come on. Come on, y'all. Oh! Oh, yeah. Come on, everybody. 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 We got, one, with got one missing. Hey. Come on, we got one missing here. Come, come on. on, Chano, come on. Just stand back here. You can't oh, see what man. you got on your clothes. Your clothes are all right. All right, all right. All right. All right. right. Where are you? Good, shining <laughs> coat. <laughs> Got women too. <laughs> this is my Hollywood friend. We're on the video here in San Francisco County. The touch of elegant. 
Can I say what I want to say on this? Say what you want to say. You sure I can say? I went to Ricky's nigga out of Los Angeles tonight. He lied. No, I ain't lying. I went one of the richest niggas in Los Angeles. This birthday present over here he gave me. For all the help that they gave me in the new time, been supporting me through all the years, finally getting a deal with MTA Records. Only person believed in us was Joe Jackson, and we love him. And uh, I hope success for the new trials, and I thank the Lord above for this day. And uh, what do you feel about the new trials? How you guys feel about it? feel great. And what do you feel about Joe? We love him. What about Jay? Huh? What do you feel about Jay? Joe Jackson? Great. Uh huh? Like, we love man a lot. <laughs> and we love John Taylor. We love you for picking us up. Not after things that John Taylor. Down a bit. We love you too, John Taylor. Yeah, we love and, you. Uh, I know this make the hit make, make history one day, and I'm just glad that it happened. 1990, new chance. It's us. 1990. Yo, it's not. Yo, fellas. Well, yeah, I, I, want you, I want y'all to go out there and knock them dead. We've been waiting for a long time. Yeah, knock them dead. Jay. Bob. New Charles, 1980. 1980. 
Johns, nice to have you with us. Thanks, John. And you are? Bobby. Hey, Bobby. I'm Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Ronnie. And Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie and Bobby, twins. Mm -hmm. You're about how old? Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten. Ten. I thought you were 15. So right. Triplets. Huh? <laughs> then you'd be triplets, of course. <laughs> nice going. How long have you guys been singing together? About eight years. Mm -hmm. Now, your last name is Newt, so that's where we get the, the group the name Newt. No, Neutron. actually, we, we, we turned our father's name around. It's Ron Newt turned around. It's Neutron. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I got it right now. From now on. Okay, so who were the folks you guys looked up to when you were starting to get your thing together, uh, other singers and, and what have you? Mine are um, Bobby, Bobby Brown, Howard Hewitt, Michael Jackson, and Johnny Gill. Mm -hmm. New addition to Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. Luther Van Josh, Johnny Gill, and Howard Hewitt. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to see happen as far as the future is concerned for for your own group? We'd like to be big as the Jacksons. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not impossible, you know. Uh, do you feel more comfortable doing ballads um, or up tempos like the song you're going to do next? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of kinda like I'm kind of like the ballad man. I love to do ballads, mm -hmm. and he he can he likes to do both. I like to do both. He loves, loves to do fast songs because yeah. he likes to get his rap in. <laughs> okay, I got it. Well, it's a pleasure having you with us, and uh, we're looking for some really great things from uh, all three of you. And we'd, of course, like for you to come back later and do another song for us, okay? Okay, sure. The Neutrons, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, skip the introduction. We just let y'all roll, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're back with more video soul. I'm Donnie Simpson. And joining me now are a new group on the scene. They call themselves the Neutrons. As a matter of fact, we all call them the Neutrons. <laughs> They're two twins, Ronnie and Bobby, and they're joined by their younger brother, Johnny, who's only 10 years old. Twins are you're 15, right? I think so. Yeah. Never sleep. <laughs> Never sleep. Now, from what I understand, this is actually your second album, but the first one you yeah, we'll kind of don't count. Yeah, it was independent. Yeah, it was independent. Uh huh. Where, where are you guys from? Oh, Santa Maria. Okay. Santa Maria. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but the first one's just like a local independent yeah. band. Mm -hmm. But this one is big time. This one. Yeah. So we hope this one goes all the way for you. It's doing real well so far, the first single from it anyway. Oh, is that right? Five. Two and Gavin and Arthur Wolf and Stewart. Oh, really? No, won't. <laughs> what's what's the name of it? Similar Attraction. Yeah. Similar Attraction. Yeah. Okay, do you guys do any writing or anything? Yeah, I write. Oh, really? I help my dad, like, to your father. Okay. So your father uh, is your manager as well, right? Yeah. Manager yeah. And, and co-producer? And my Directing videos. No, he's the manager and producer. Yeah. He, he produced seven songs on our album. Direct and Designs at clubs. I think. Does he really? Boy, yeah. he does all of that. Do That's all. incredible. And my, mom and, and my mom and my sister, um, they are Roman. Oh, really? Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Now, I don't know if y'all know about this, but I was told that uh, your father's opening line to your mother was, uh, it was back during when the Jacksons oh, were home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he said something to him like, uh, hey, baby, you know, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> you, maybe we can make no, some yeah. young Jacks. No, he told my mom. <laughs> New Jack. No, he told my mom. He told my mom. He told my mom. He didn't go out like that. He didn't go out like that. He didn't go out like that. He was like, yeah, who knew He told her, he told her, uh, one day, I, I, I think we should make some Jacks. And she laughed at it. She was like, he's crazy. He's just sick. <laughs> now they've been together for about 18 years. Wow. They got us. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys My work with, with one dreams. of the Jacksons, with uh, Jackie yeah. Jackson. Yeah, we're going to do a thing like we're going from the oldest to the youngest on every album. We're going to do one of their old songs. I guess the man's going to do it. It's like each one of our albums is going to go from the oldest to the youngest. Mm -hmm. Each one of them is going to do a song. Oh, really? Because the Jacksons are actually our third cousin. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not a blood thing, but it's by marriage. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
Oh, that's interesting. So you worked uh, in the Jackson studio, I understand, recording something. I want you back. Yeah, oh, so you did. I want you back with Jackie. 1990. Somebody 20 years to do it, and we can't even do it. <laughs> a lot of people were scared to do it for the last 20 years. Y'all weren't scared of it, though, huh? <laughs> no, we were in the Yeah. That was an honor to do it, of course. We were like, mm, we're going to Jackson. Jackson said that was, you know, <laughs> it was, it was basically for an, another young group, but like Jackie said, you know, that was a hard thing to do, but nobody do it for 20 years, so we thought that we could, we could pull it off. We pulled it off. Yeah, pull it off big time, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. So what are your dreams at this point? Where do you guys, where do you see yourselves going? I dream of to be a 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 <laughs> Look at his neck. <laughs> no. well, twins can't be different, can't they? Here's one thing. I just want to go platinum. No, I just no. want the ladies. Yeah, no, just, you go we, platinum, I'll take the numbers. You know, I just, <laughs> <laughs> we, but we want, on a serious side, but we want the, we want the, the status of the Jackson. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't happen on this album, we hope it happens on the next one. It's going to happen just with you turn you have to be confident. Now, all right, yeah. Don said, you know, Don Camille, she said that ain't impossible. And you know how you be, a group will say, here, ask them, you know, where you think you're going to be in many, many years, or, mm -hmm. you know, and, and usually if they say something, he'll tell them, no, I don't think so. But when we tell oh, really? when he said, he yeah. said, what do you want to do? How big do you want to be? One said, do you want the status of Jackson? And he said, that ain't impossible. You no, know, like, well, it's not. Uh, if we would have done it, probably want. been that's impossible. Because I don't think you got to do it. We'll say something. Yeah, we'd have had a problem. Yeah. But, I mean, anything is possible if you guys are willing to work for it. Yeah. But it doesn't come easy. I mean, it's not just given to you. And I don't mean to sound like your father, like I'm preaching to you. You know, the thing is that, also that I want to say is that when, when we, we came onto the scene, we didn't see people don't know, just because you get a record deal, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you just started doing it. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this for eight years. Oh, we've been really? dancing for eight years. We've been dancing for six. Yeah, so so singing for like, six and oh, dancing for eight years. New Jacks, you know, they hear, they came, but and we they know, it took us eight years to get to NCA. Wow. Eight years. That's great. But we're here. All right. And we're going to be hyped. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Cheryl Dickinson had heard about us and asked us to come up to the hotel room with Maurice Starr. So we all went upstairs with her and a guy named Reggie Jones. The kids performed for her in a little room and she went crazy over saying, these are my babies, I'm going to give them a deal, I'm going to leave MCA and go over to CBS Records with Hank Caldwell. And while we were in the studio, this lady named Wiki Sims called and said that MCA Records was looking for me, that Lou Silas wanted to talk to me, and uh, that he was the VP of MCA Records. He said, um, don't sign with Cheryl Dickinson, you punk bitch, don't sign with her. And you know what, I know you're a future different, I don't care. MCA will still deal with you. I'm gonna give you 100,000 right now, and I'm gonna give you an $8 million deal. Lou Silas had promised me the world, like, I know you gotta go back to prison. So if you go back to prison, don't worry about it, I'm gonna take care of the kids, they're gonna be all right. Don't worry about nothing, Ron. But all of a sudden, Lou Silas called me in one day and said, Ron New, we can't put the neutrons out right now. I gotta break up the group. New addition to Bell, Bill, and DeVoe. I said, Luke, I told you don't cross me, man. I got to do what I got to do. 
nigga. You gonna you got to see me about something, nigga. You cross me, nigga. I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass, nigga, when I see you, nigga. And so I was threatening him and acting a fool and all that, right? So when I got there, they was prepared for me, but they hadn't called the police on me yet. And everybody claimed that I went in there with a pistol and a hand grenade, and they said I laid like his body like down with a pistol. Bitch, don't touch this motherfucker. I'll blow this motherfucker up. You heard? Yeah, you but I, 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 I took the fifth on that. To it, when I went back up there, they had a squad up there. A squad. Said, nigga, put your hands up, don't move. That any of your gang members around, you the first nigga we gonna shoot. And then I went to Beverly Hills Jail, and from Beverly Hills Jail to L.A. County, where they laid me down on a bed for six days with a little Christmas light bulb, saying I was crazy and I was tied six points down. And they held me in there for six or seven days with no visit or nothing. And after that, they sent me to Chino. And Chino went back to Susanville on a fugitive charge. Ronnie Newt was only 16. His is the tragic story of a young man on the threshold of a promising musical career. But at the same time, Ronnie Newt apparently could not resist the lure of violent crime, even as his musical group already had begun work on its second album. While I was in prison, uh, my son was in the studio. They would work on their next album. But what happened, my son Ronnie got himself caught up with the Crips. Ronnie Newt doing the rap brothers Bobby and Jay, they called themselves the Neutrons. So much going for Ronnie Newt. But it all ended in a pool of blood after a bungled armed robbery Wednesday inside the San Bernardino Mini Mart. All of this was carried out in full view of the store's security cameras. And we must warn you, what you'll see is graphic. It began when three of four suspects entered the convenience store earlier this month. Several customers in the store, seeing the guns and hearing the demands for cash, grabbed their children and ran as a fourth suspect enters. One man leaped the counter, demanded money. A second camera offered four different angles of the hold-up attempt. In the bottom left pictures, one of the hold-up men can be seen grabbing handfuls of crash. Get the money now. And to leave, the gunfire started. Right in our faces, right there on national TV, they showed that crazy shit. Police say Ronnie Newt was among a group of four young hold-up men. Open the drawer so they get the money. They, they said they want more money. Her husband also had a gun. Mr. Yu had been hit several times with a handgun before any firing began. We don't know how many shots exactly were fired in total. Storekeeper Yu was taken to San Bernardino County Medical Center in critical condition. Also critically wounded was one of the suspects, 19-year-old Eric Daniel Howard. But the rapper for the Neutrons, Ronnie Newt, was dead. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, 
Yes, my daddy. Yes, my cousin. You don't know. Hi, nigga. Our family. Tell me, where the young work family did your real young run come from? Can't from you, man. Huh? Can't what family you come from? A new family? You. Bigly, new Tatum. We all rock. We all rock. And we legends. We legends in our own time, right? Man. And we so bad, we captured the Jackson 5. And what Joe Jackson tell you? Yeah, I didn't say he was our cousin. What did he say? It's like this new. <laughs> we cousins, dude. We about three, four cousins down the line, new, but we cousins. See, new, we all up here, but the rest of the people is down there. Now, let my friend do it. My friend, my friend. Now, what kind of clothes like do you drive in Hollywood? I changed it. It's black and tan. <laughs> it was white tan, but I got tired of the color. Yeah, we just met my friend Chip friend about six months ago, right? Yeah. Cause he's a hell of a nigga. I'll make announcement, Ronnie. Yeah, don't make announcement. Ronnie New told me a long time ago when I was out on Third Street working, I was gonna be the next nigga to be what? One of the biggest niggas in San Francisco. Thank you. I, I retired my case. Because Ryan New told me this a long time ago. Back in what I came to Come here, I came to my ass. Fuck off. Talk to me like all the rest of the youngsters did. He told me I was going to be the next nigga rich on Third Street. Well I, well, I would like to show one of my products. See the young man that you're holding there. I remember when he was starting with a Cougar. He has a Mercedes Benz. Hey, come on, Chip. Put your hand up. He has a vest. Come on, Chip. Put your hand up, Chip. My name is Ronnie. Iron this. Iron this. I love it. See, I ain't jealous. I love it. Because he's in my family. I love it. I love it, too. You know what I'm saying? This plane, right? Then we end up pimping. Now what's gonna happen is if we can't catch a young hoe, nigga, we supposed to be shopping around how to play. Man, nigga, we ain't gonna get no job. No, no, no. Can't do that. Tell us what to do? I don't know how to do that. It's too late now anyway. Hey man, I got a reporter. I got a reporter. But I could. I couldn't do one of these motherfucking shit, man, if I didn't have a car, if I didn't have a home, if I didn't have holes, and they up there hollering about what I used to do. I'd be too ashamed to let a motherfucker know, nigga, that I was just a motherfucking uh, wonder for five minutes. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> five motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it, though, that I noticed that everybody want to be in it, everybody want to talk about it. They all holly it, you did, but they know the good and the bad about it. But I see the motherfuckers running out of it because they know what time it is. Yeah, that's shit ain't easy, man. I can right stay back now. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, come on, man. Come on, come, come on. on. Yeah. Oh, that light so get that good right there. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna get a dose of this pimp, right? You gon' get a dope. Come on. Yeah, you feel me? Hey, so, you know, I'm gonna take it to hey, a dope. You, know, you know, I'm gonna serve a motherfucker. I gotta give it to my brother, man. Well, no, come on. Come on. You wanna say what? Go ahead. Yeah, because I love that motherfucker. Well, that's all right. See, that's dude, check this out. Remember you told me, remember you told me, put that on pause. Put that shit on pause, yeah, man. That's real shit, man. Look, you told me, say, Ryan, you're here in my town, man. I know you can feel whatever, man, but you got to stand tall with all steel, even though you're doing the cheers with Michael Jackson and Joe Jackson, and I got you back. Baby, one love, but you got to keep it P.I. He right. says three things in life, Ryan, that you must understand. It's for fun, for money, or for me. Which one you want to play? I said, baby, I want to play all of them. He said, well, then, you ready for this one? I said, what's that? He said, two things in life I ain't going to ever see, Ron. I said, what's that? Dude? He said, you're a UFO now, bitch, you couldn't have. I said, I'm not going to love it, just make it with Man. That's what I did, dude. Take the stage, baby. Take the stage. Hey, you see this watch right here? Yeah. I got a watch on for every country where I put a bitch at. Get this motherfucking watch. You see that diamond watch? That's what every hole in every different motherfucking country has came to Brown and said, Ronnie you is not the American pimp, you's an international pimp. You done search pussy all over the world, nigga. How you gonna be in Jamaica, nigga? In Hong Kong, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you sending the pictures on the ships, nigga? I know what you were doing, nigga. Yeah, I got different kind of understanding for different lines. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean,
Cal, you stupid? Cal, you hella stupid. Where you at, Bob? Huh? Where you at, baby? I'm at Big Shoe's house up in Vegas. Huh? Doing it real big. Absolutely real big. big. Oh, boy. Please believe Doing me. Real so big, quick baby. and so fast. Uh -oh. So fast, so hard. There's nothing it's where you're saying that. It's nothing. You're Jeff Rose It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's how we do it. It's nothing. Come on, baby. I Sisters, 